I wanted to touch on, Carrie, there was a, an announcement on Friday about this exploit in Adobe yes. Reader. Yes, okay. Mostly for Windows users, but it's also been, I mean, uh, Adobe says that it affects all platforms. People are saying, though, that it doesn't affect Linux, it doesn't affect Mac necessarily. Now, I think it's a little more towards Mac and Windows, but definitely Windows users especially have to be concerned about this problem. Okay. Basically, what it does is it allows um, somebody to send you a PDF file that will basically give them your personal information. Wow. It uses JavaScript, and I, and, I, and I think, why do you really need JavaScript in a PDF anyways? Why does this program, why does this application even support JavaScript? If you know, please let me know. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so regardless, um, the, there is an update uh, for, that, uh, for that program for Adobe Reader. We're especially talking about the new version, version 8, uh, 8.1.2, uh, Adobe Reader 8.0 through that version. Uh, so basically 8 up, uh, Adobe Reader 7.09 and earlier, uh, Adobe Acrobat Professional. I'm just reading these off for you just in case you have these installed. Uh, the same versions again, 8.0 through 8.12, and Adobe Acrobat Professional 3D and Standard uh, 7.09 and earlier, and that's the 3D and Standard of the other one too. So if you have Adobe Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat Reader installed on your computer, definitely want to get this patch. It's available from adobe.com slash support slash security, slash bulletins, slash APSB 08-15.html. So it only took them two days to get this patch out, which is pretty impressive. Um, and a lot of antivirus software companies are actually starting to release uh, fixes as well to protect you from that exploit. Uh, okay. But you definitely want to patch your application. Disable JavaScript if you need to, but this should uh, resolve that for you according to Adobe. Wow, I have, I have those applications, so... Yeah. I'll definitely be doing that. And if if this exploit was to happen to you, what would that look like? Like, would you get like would well, a PDF just come up and? Apparently, uh, Acrobat will crash. Mine crashed. Did yours crash? It it crashed. Weird. It really did. I had to. I'm just trying I to creep shut it. it down and then I reloaded it. Really? Yeah, using um, so Firefox. So it's possible. I don't know. But uh, we definitely want to get that patch for you anyways. Yeah. I'm going to post a link to this uh, file. This is the Adobe Security Update uh, on their advisory for this week. And uh, that was released yesterday. I'm going to post a link to that in the show notes for episode number 75. So should I go change my, my pins and my, my address and everything? Like I don't know. They haven't really said what information it exploits. Okay. It uses a backdoor Trojan. Uh, backdoor do, 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 using a toolkit called Ghost. I mean, we can read over this stuff, but yeah, uh, I'm not really sure what well, uh, what yeah. it actually distributes. But I wouldn't get too paranoid just now. I think it's, at this point it's so early. It's like they found the problem. Probably not a lot of people have been affected by it yet. But in order to avoid having it spread, mm -hmm. having you know now that it's been announced, all of a sudden all the hackers are going, "Ooh, I'm going to exploit that." And they're oh, going to start right. sending out these PDFs. So let's get our computers fixed before those uh, those PDFs start getting distributed. Okay. That's all. That's what we want to watch out for. So, so I'm going to patch it? Definitely. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> wow, thank you. No problem.